The bidding was too rich for the people in the room, but they'd stayed to see the result. This 400-year-old Bible had generated lots of pre-sale publicity, and there was plenty of interest in what it would make. Printed in 1615, it's one of the few remaining examples of the first mass-produced and printed Bibles. When you're holding this Bible 400 years old, who else has held it? Who else has read from it? Um, if, this, if that could tell stories, I'm sure they'd be phenomenal. Um, but, but it is a piece of history um, uh, that, that has survived and it is in relatively good condition. It originally belonged to the daughter of an English aristocrat. She was a pilgrim to America. Her Bible crossed the Atlantic with her. It made its way back to her family in England when she died. Centuries later, it was snapped up by a car dealer and antiques enthusiast from Northern Ireland. Its value had been estimated at between five and ten thousand pounds, but online bidders pushed it past that. At twenty thousand pounds, at twenty thousand pounds, everyone will sell. Selling the Bible at twenty thousand pounds, at twenty thousand pounds. Museums on both sides of the Atlantic had expressed an interest, but it's understood the Bible was bought by a private collector. Conor McCauley, RT News, Belfast.